Hello everyone, Seapat here with another Yummy C video. Uh, looks like we have a rematch up against Janet. Uh, we fought Janet yesterday with our Green Midori. Uh, that's actually a really good video if you guys want to check it out. But today we're going to be playing the DeGray. Uh, DeGray just got some interesting attacks. We'll show you once we draw them. Um, uh, this server looks like it's lagging a little bit, or hello, can I just can I play my ability? Thank you, game. Uh, we will just draw two off this. Hopefully we get a power-up. We don't get a power-up, that's really bad. Um, we're gonna go, we're gonna go for a spicy F here. <laughs> just to, just to maybe get into Janet's head a little bit. She likes to low block quite a bit on turn one. Uh, we saw her do that a bunch against me yesterday, so maybe this power high attack will... Yeah, there it is. Just, uh, just a little 7 damage, just to let her know what's up. Maybe this is accelerating her plan to get recklessness anyway. Um, maybe, maybe it is, I don't know. I just, I just thought it was, would, that would be a fun call out. Uh, just because I think Jan went for low blocks so often against me. I don't know if... Um, I degrade's definitely my one of my lower least played characters, so I don't know if White Gem is in correct on Degray or not. But we're gonna find out here, obviously. Uh Degray has a very interesting move, right? He's got the Ghost Repost, which is um avoids attacks, but uh, it's a one bar um super that allows you that uh yeah, it looks like we just accelerated our plan. Whoops. Uh, it's a one bar super that allows you to hit back with a full combo. Um, very cool here. Um, and then her, his super 2 is final arbiter, which is probably... Um, do we think Chance could go for the early phase out here? I don't think so. Go for the burst. Get it. Draw 2. Decent looking hand now. We're up to our full 12. We finally have a power up in our medium lows. We're going to power this up for 2 bar, because we actually have both... We've actually drawn both supers. Probably just gonna play the white star. The um, maybe we exchange the low for something. We exchange low for F or low for D. Look for D, maybe sounds good. We're gonna go for the white star strike. Um, I like that. If I get super two, I get super two here. But I don't think Jan's gonna spend her super two so early. She might DP me instead. Hey, we got the white star strike. Perfect, 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 perfect. Um, oh, we built three meter accidentally. Might as well just go into the final arbiter here. Um, yeah, okay, that's good. We have the one. We have the one bar for Ghost Repost on our turn. Although I don't think I'm gonna play it. I think I'm actually gonna play the second White Star Strike on my turn. Um. Get a super early white star strike value, which we love. Um, we're already getting pretty good value out of our out of our white kit already. We got our white burst to hit. We had one white star strike to hit as well. She changes what that for low. Um, maybe she wants to fireball me again. But thing is, if I spend too many of my um, answers to fireball early, maybe that's a bad idea. Well, I still have the ghost assist. She recklessnesses and draws a card. I think I'm just gonna mash the White Star Strike here. Uh, White Star Strike DE is a pretty decent looking combo here. Uh, we'll do good damage as well. Um, because Degray is innate, allows me to tack on additional damage. Uh, okay, yep, there it is. Uh, we get additional damage. Um, we'll go DE. Um, so we will get what? So we have seven cards, two are nine cards. Um, so we'll get additional damage for uh, every uh, every card that we're below. So we're actually gonna like super combo this into that, and then we're gonna get bonus damage for four of these. So we're gonna get sixteen bonus damage on this combo, uh, which is insane. Um, the thing is, we are kind of like running low on um, on like options here, right? Uh, so we might gemstorm this on top of it. Um, I I feel like she's gonna. I might actually gemstorm Tyrant Crusher, uh, if because I'm feeling kind of saucy here. I have a little bit of a read here that Janet's gonna go for like a throw or a fast attack. 
So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go for the Tyrant Crusher here. Hopefully we're not wrong. Okay, we are wrong, but that's okay. Uh, she gets back for eight. Uh, we get our Tyrant Crusher back, so it's not the end of the world. Um, but, I mean, so far, this is like the the ideal start to the game, right? We're doing very well here. Why did my Tyrant Crusher... Okay, my Tyrant Crusher did come back. Cool. Just let her know that we have it. Um... Make sure she doesn't go for fast attacks. The unsafe on block's not really a big deal because she is playing uh, combat cards that, like... I mean, I but she doesn't have blocks, right? That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but this white jump storm is basically more or less just to maintain our hand size because we do want a decent size hand. Um, so, yeah. Looks like Janet draws two cards off the future side. I think future side was probably the card she picked up with the phase out, which makes complete sense. Uh, are we just gonna go for the Tyrant Crusher again? Go for the Ghost or We can go for the Ghost Repose, maybe. Because um, we have a bunch of bar and we return it even if we get thrown. Um, which seems good, right? Oh, she actually gets a low block back, okay. She's not messing around now. Uh, we're gonna go for the Tyrant Crusher here. We're just gonna go for it. We're not scared. We're not scared. Okay. Wait, what? Okay, apparently... Apparently that's, uh... Oh, yeah, it only beats normals and specials. I'm an idiot. It's like, why did that not work? Uh, yeah, that's why it didn't work, because it only beats normals and specials. Uh, we are going to go ahead and exchange something. Probably power up throws first. Uh, power up throws for... Oh, we don't need to... We have full bar. Huh, okay, cool. Um... We go for the power high on our turn. Power high. So maybe we need to. Oh, but we can't combo power high to anything because we we're down. We don't have the ghost assist. I guess we kind of spent a lot of our resources really early. Um, so now it's going to be a little bit of a difficult time to close out the game, but we'll give it a shot. Um, we just kind of have like a scuffed hand right now. Um. I still kind of want to go for the Tyrant Crusher just three times in a row, just because it's kind of goofy. Um, is there anything that we want from this hand? No. Uh, she has no bar again, so... We could just go for the Tyrant Crusher here. We could go for the throw, but we're going to go for the Tyrant Crusher here, just because we're going to attempt a hard call out here. We have a good amount of HP here. Tyrant Crusher is our lethal, right? Only 11 HP, so it's not like it's a bad play. Um... If we run to a fireball, we run to a fireball, right? It's not the end of the world. Uh, fireball's only 7 damage. She has no bar. Oh, okay. She, she gets the low block down. Uh, she gets to hit back with one move, so probably just hits, hits back with throw. Uh, knocks me down and then makes me guess high-low. Um, I don't know why she's thinking. Uh, yeah, okay, there. I don't know. Okay. Yep, as we expected. Uh, she discards D. Uh, she gets the arc shot down, so that's just like a free 5 damage. Maybe we've blown... Maybe we've, um... Kind of earned... Do we go for the F? Do we dare go for the F? Uh, it's really frisky to go for the F, but... Um... I mean, so the thing is, we're down our fast options, right? We don't fight Arbiter. Uh, we don't have White Burst either. Um, she's going for Hyper Tempest as well. I could just die here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to my convictions and go for the F and try to beat the throw. It did not work. It did not work. We're getting owned here. Are we dead? We're, there's a chance we're just dead here, in which case we've kind of thrown this game, but also, I wouldn't say thrown the game. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say thrown the game. It's just that we kind of let her back into the game, rather. Um, okay, so we're going to power up. Throws. We're going to power up throws for Super 2. So we need our super 2 threat on deck. Exchange dodge for throw. Um, question is, do we just Arbiter here? 
Yes. We just arbiter here. Oh, okay. She broke that, so that's fine. Uh, we still kind of have the mix up here, right? We have a Daggerfall Thrust, we have a Ghost Repose. She picks up a few. She picks up a Dragonheart, looks like. I don't know what she picked up. She Oh, she picked up a copy of Super 2. Um, so maybe we've thrown this game. Maybe we've thrown this game? I'm not sure if we've thrown this game yet. Uh, we do have the, drag the Daggerfall Thrust in hand. Uh, she gets a copy of Phase Out as well. Interesting. I don't know. Um, will our insistence to... She goes for the arc shot again. Um, her arc shot setups are usually... They usually have like a fireball on them, or they have... Um, Super 2 attach them. If they have Super 2, that if we attack, we're dead. I kind of just believe in going... <laughs> I don't know, am I, am I crazy? I, I I am crazy, but I kind of want to just go for the Daggerfall Thrust here. Um, if she Dragon's Breaths, we're dead. If she Fireballs, we're not dead. And we hopefully have a power up next turn. Um, she powers up throws. Uh, gets super one. That's super one. Hmm. Does that matter? Exchange your C for throw almost assuredly. Yeah. There it is. Uh, so her hand is what? Throw, super one, super two. Um. Etc. Etc. Um. Can we maybe guess? She's out of normals. So. Hello block. Phase out. Um. I don't think it actually matters though what her hand is. Fortunately. We're gonna finally like we're just gonna assume that she's playing Fireball or something. Oh, she's playing Dragon's Breath. Okay, also <laughs> fine. Oh, so we dodge it. Obviously, we we can't get anything back from it. Um, what are? Does she have lethal off anything? So we're gonna take a look at here. She's lethal off throw. I don't think she's she doesn't have lethal off dodge. She doesn't have lethal off. Maybe she picked up the red dragon to go for a red dragon to beat my... Um... Hmm. To beat my... Uh... X and Y? Um, do we finally go for the go- the, the problem with going for Ghost for Post is throw is her literally only lethal option, right? So if she throws immediately, we're just dead, right? If we- if she does any other thing, we're not dead yet. Um... We don't have an exchange- oh, we do have an exchange, but... Um, with both of our final arbiters in the discard, um, exchanging a block away is pretty risky. Because if she knocks me down, with, like, with a dodge into throw, then I'm just dead, right? Um, whereas here I still have the 50-50. Um, I don't know what to go for. We could just... I kind of want to go for the Tyrant Crusher again. Maybe we go for the Daggerfall Thrust this time. Tyrant Crusher, actually, there's no difference, right, between these two. Um, okay, let's do it. Let's call it the throw. Throws her, throws her way to win the game, I think. Unless she has, like, Z's into something. Yeah, there it is. Okay, we did it, we did it, we did it. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, we almost threw that game away, but then again, it's not really throwing the game away, it's just that we really spent a lot of resources early. Um, like, we spent a ton of resources early, and we, like, almost just ran out of stuff to beat her things, right? Uh, she exchanges high for D this time. Uh, do we start with F again? Honestly. Um, we got into her head once with that, right? With the F. Um, she did not, she powered up Ds. She could, could have two throws in hand. Um, but the chances of having both Ds and two throws in hand is kind of lowish. So I think we're actually going to go for the F again. Got the low block again. <laughs> Just go for the seven. Just let her know what's up. Uh, we're, we're technically like accelerating her game plan, but also who cares? It's just funny. 
that's not what we want to do. We want to uh, ability this. We want to be drawing two. Hello, we want to be drawing two. Uh, what is this? Ghostly Dro Doctrine. Fetch all Zs. If they're no non effective, discard a card and get one super. Wow, this ability is kind of bad. Because uh, Zs you can't even power up. Maybe maybe it's not as bad as I think it would be. We'll power up throws for, what, two bar again? Maybe super one and one bar? Uh, we'll exchange, what, F for throw and then... We'll change effort throw and then white burst on her turn. No, I actually kind of I part of the problem w with her comeback in the last game was the fact that I threw away my burst really early, so I don't think I'm going to make that same mistake this game. Um, I think we're actually just going to do this on block. Hmm, maybe do it in ghost or post, but we don't really have a good answer. Yeah, we'll do it in Ghost or Post, I guess. So we can combo into the Tyrant Crusher. Uh, if we get knocked down, we still have both our blocks. I really don't want to lose a block this early. Um, we'll go for the Ghost or Post here, especially because we have we played zero Ghost or Post in the last game. Um, so I kind of like this play. Yep, okay. We dodge the dragon heart, nice. Gotcha. Uh, so she takes five off the dragon heart as well. Um, there's no way we can get um, more high ground damage, so we're just gonna go into the tyrant crusher and knock her down. Justice. Oh, obviously we get the ghost repulse back, right? Um, she probably exchanges for a low block, think it's free, it's not free, because DeGray has three lows and one high, uh, so the likelihood I've drawn this high is really low. Oh, I guess that's kind of annoying to deal with. Um, it's kind of annoying to deal with. Is she really going to do that wake-up throw? Uh, so she exchanges low for... For low, yeah, she doesn't know that I have the second F. I'm pretty sure she's just gonna play the low. Uh, the only question is, do I think playing F is worth it? Yeah, I think it's worth it. Oh, we actually, gave it, it's actually a flame arrow, that's funny. Uh, so we both take seven, she's down to 52. Uh, she didn't spend the block, which is a little bit unfortunate. We really wanted her to spend the block. Um, we don't have good power-ups here. Uh, maybe we ghostly drop dodge and discard a dodge, get one bar into um, wipers. I don't know. This hand just feels so eh to me, you know. Uh, this hand just feels really eh to me. What if we exchange E for F and then uh, <laughs> do some shenanigans that way? Exchange dodge for F. Threaten the F. Threaten the F. Scare. Threaten the F. And then go for block. Jump storm? No, we don't need to jump storm. And we'll just block low. Oh, she got me. She has a weird hand. And she's really she's really going for the low hand style. This is shocking to me. This is a, so obviously we got 16 more high ground damage last game, so she's preventing that. But this just this just I don't know, I just don't I I'm not a fan of low hand gameplay in general. Um, do we think she's going to dodge? I think maybe we use this as an opportunity to white burst. Um, oh, I think she might throw me actually. Let's go for the E. Let's go for the E. Oh, she had second fireball. Fire. Okay. This, this play makes a lot more sense that she has second more fire. Second fireball. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, do we go for the ghost assist maybe? Try to beat out the fireball. Um, Seems okay, we can jump storm, but I don't really see the worth in jump storming. We can't power up this card, which sucks. I wish I could power up that card. Uh, we're down our low block, so we don't want to get thrown, and we want to be kind of safe here, so we'll exchange our, that for a low. Um, let's 
go for the ghost assist, try to beat out the fireball. She can't really punish this too much. Red dragon, not the end of the world. She spends a bar on it too. Uh, I am down life, but um, any any day I don't have to deal with purple, uh, with purple, with uh, the purple fireball with super two. I think is a good day. Um, so I'm like okay with this for now. Left holes are about even. I'm playing to gray though, so I do have the. At some point, like I will get meter. <laughs> arc shots me. Interesting. Okay. I wonder if this is the arc shot into the throw. Um, so I'm actually wiper sing this maybe. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wiper this. I will take our damage, but we get our cards. We are like really desperately lacking cards. Um, so we need to we need to get cards, and we need cards asap. Uh, cause we need bar. Um. That's our kind of comeback into this game. Okay, this is good. We have finally drawn stuff. So we'll power up those for two bar. Uh, we will, do we jump storm? Maybe we jump storm this turn. Um, do we jump storm this turn? Yeah, let's do it. Let's jump storm this turn. Let's jump storm this turn into the Tyrant Crusher. Oh, uh, okay. I like that. Um, is there anything else we have to do? Not really. Um, the fact that I'm not using my exchange might be suspicious to her into thinking that we're going to throw this turn, but we're actually just going to go for the Tyrant Crusher. Tyrant Crusher under Arbiter is 34 damage. We'll be, we'll be having the lead. Uh, we won't have a bar for the Ghoster Posts, but that's okay. Uh, we have like a... Oh. No, that's bad. Mm, that's bad. That's really bad. She gets the Arc Shot back. Oh, yeah, we've lost this game. Oh. Uh, too many times I just forget with um, players that don't use their bursts early. I just forget that the burst exists. And then it's just like a bad time. She, did she really pick up double arc shot? What a meanie. That's so that's so bad for us. That's so bad for us. We like now we're up against like we're up against like basically like a DPS race now, right? It's like that kind of deal. I don't like this card. This card I feel like this ability sucks. I don't maybe it's just me. But I feel like that ability just sucks. Um, it just, it's just like, it's just sitting in my hand. It's not doing anything. Like, I don't need another Z right now. It's just, like, a lot of abilities in this game. We're, we're gonna file our artist, by the way. Okay, we got it. Um, Final a lot of abilities in this game, they're just kind of like, they're, they, they're useful most of the time, right? I don't, but I just feel like that one is not. Anyway, we got the final arbor back, which is good. Unless we can power up again for two bar next turn. Uh, we are going to look at the discard here. Uh, we're going to power up this for two bar. We're going to exchange this for throw. And then we have a little bit of a mix up here between the Tyrant Crusher and the uh, throw here. Both kill. Uh, right, because throw into Final Arbiter is 28, Tyrant Crusher into Final Arbiter is 34. Um, again, like, Tower Crusher is, like, a totally fine comic card to play. We've not thrown once all game, so I'm thinking that she might think that this is the point where we throw. We're just gonna go for the Time Crusher here. Uh, again, she has no bar, right? So the Time Crusher beats normals and specials, and she's down a burst, and we don't have to worry about supers anymore, so this makes our Time Crusher really, really good. Um, okay, she hard called out our Time Crusher, and I think we lose... Which is fine. I mean, we oh wait, we have a we have a new lease on life. We don't lose. Oh, okay. Oh, now we lose. Now we lose? Question mark? Because she just throws me, and there's nothing I can do. Oh, that's annoying. What an annoying ability! The fact that you get four of them. I gave her four of them. It's just really bad. 
Uh, yeah, she doesn't break the threshold, so yeah, I mean, I just, like, I just lose, right? She just throws me, I lose, yeah. Let's see if she makes a mistake, she does not make a mistake, yeah, okay, that's... 1-1. One, one. That is fine with me. Um, yeah, I just made a wrong read there. Um, I guess I can't really rely on that mix-up again. And, um, I just felt like this, this card just feels like a, like a dead card in my hand. Uh, we have no power-up, which sucks. So we go for the power high again. Be goofy. Uh, no, let's go for the low block here. Uh, so we hit her with the power high on the first two turns, and it actually didn't help us. It just kind of, like, put her block in the discard for her and, like, started her engine early. Um, I think goals this game is to try not to get purple bursted, because purple burst literally, like, if we, if she gets purple burst and she gets full value into this, those arc shots. <laughs> nice. I, I respect the C. I totally respect the C there. Um... But as I was saying, uh, if we get if she gets purple burst and gets back both arc shots, she lo like we lose the game. So maybe we're thinking that she doesn't want to spend. So sh we saw her do that, right? So maybe the adjustment she makes in game three. It's not really an adjustment so much, but it's just that she doesn't um, she doesn't purple burst until both her arc shots are in, are in the discard. Anyway, we're gonna block again. We're gonna block low. We're gonna block high actually. What are these C's? I don't know what they're doing. Wait, did she exchange for C and then play the C back? That's weird. Okay, well there goes my there goes my power up. That's fun. Now we're gonna exchange this for throw. And a power up throws for two bar. Do we ability here? To get bar number three? Sure. I mean, we're gonna be drawing enough cards anyway. It's not a big deal. Um, three bars is really important because it means we can, um, because it means we can ghost post into uh, the final arbiter. Um, that said, I think we're just gonna be blocking low here. Okay, that's fine. She powers up throws, gets two bar, exchanges low for throw, almost assuredly, exchanges low for C. What is this assumption with C, Janet? What's going on here? You have CDE? CDE is not even that good, she's two bar now. I guess she didn't have two bar before, but she's really trying to hit this, like, jank combo on me. I don't... I respect, I respect it, because, like, if I had a jank combo like that, I would try my best to hit it. Um, especially, in, like, even even at Tournament, I, I like... Try to hit straight flushes before, right? Um, we're just gonna block again. We're gonna block high this time, though. What are these C's, Janet? What what is this attack? I don't get. It. <laughs> I, I truly do not understand. I truly do not understand what's going on there. We'll exchange this for throw. I'm just so confused on what's going on there. Don't get it. I don't get it one bit. Uh, she probably has a copy of Super 2 in hand. Well, there's a chance she doesn't, and we can catch her out with an early White Chip Storm, maybe? Um, or, I don't know if she's noticed that we've not thrown all game. Um, so maybe we can get a, a cheeky throw into the final orbiter here. Uh, if I lose to an attack, it's probably gonna be Fireball that I lose to. Okay, we got it. We got it, we got it, we got it. Go into the final. It's uh, one third of our health down. Final okay, okay, okay. We only have one bar, but that's okay. Uh, we have Tyrant Crusher shenanigans. We have the low to beat the Fireball as well. We have the burst as well to beat the Fireball. I don't really get these like C gameplay, but like whatever. Um, that was our first throw in three games, by the way, I believe. She exchanges throw number three for a dodge. Uh, she powers up Ds. Why do I feel like she has the fourth throw? 
I'm just, I'm, I kind of feel like poking it out with an A. Um, she knows that I like to go for these, like, random, quote-unquote, random pile bunkers quite a bit. Um, but we're going to poke it out with an A. Yeah, there it is. There we go. We beat the fireball, which is good. Uh, that's a tool that she doesn't have anymore, which is perfect. Uh, we are going to, we're going to actually power up, excuse me. We're going to power up our Fs. We're super two in one bar. We're going to exchange our dodge for our throw. We're going to white star strike. I actually, we're actually just going to block. Uh, we're going to block low. Uh, we're going to block, ideally we block the super two. I don't think she has fireball in hand. Uh, but super two, this just feels like the right time to super two. Like it's on the beat. So uh, we're going to block here. Oh, good throw, good throw, good throw, good throw from Janet here. Oh, it goes for throw into Super 2. Uh, makes up some health. Obviously, we have to, like, subtract 16 from our health because of Arcshot just being a thing. Uh, I guess she assumed we'd be going for the Ghost Post, maybe? Uh, powers of Red Dragons for Super 2. Seems fine. I don't think she is going to Super 2 here, though. Um, the only thing is, like... We don't really have... Like, we can final arbiter it. Oh, well, actually, let's see what her exchanges first. She probably needs to exchange for a throw, yeah. Almost assuredly she needs to exchange for a throw. Uh, we could throw ourselves here, actually, because I really don't feel like she's going to go for... Um, I really don't think she's going to go for attack there, right? Because if she's attacking, she's attacking with um, Super 2 in a lot of cases, and the Super 2 there just didn't feel right. So we're going to go again for the throw into the final arbiter, right? Or, or, this also works out really well because in the first two games we didn't go for throw into final arbor a lot in, at all, and now it's suddenly become our win con, which is funny. Um, she's down to 18 HP. Um, we're actually just gonna exchange our high for our low here. Um, she's probably not gonna. Well, actually, she might throw. She throws, we'll put the white star, we'll play the white star strike. If we get hit by the super two, we get hit by the super two, right? Um, we can go white star strike. What if we go tyrant crusher to beat the throw? Um, what if we go tyrant crusher to beat the throw? Yeah! <laughs> so that way we just win? Yeah, I like that. Hello? Can I not play? Can I not play that? Whatever. Let's play white star strike. And that is going to be it. GG's Janet. Um, we really switched things up in uh, in game three. They're going for two throws after not throwing at all the first two games. So I, I was really happy with that uh, best of three, the little bit of the adjustment that we made. But uh, thank you guys so much, so much for watching. That was some DeGray gameplay. So we just have the Geiger left. Uh, although I kind of don't feel like playing Geiger. So maybe I'll just go mess around in queue with some of the characters. But thank you guys so much for watching. Again, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.